I'm Laura Stiles. I'm a media personality, and I'm Guatemalan. You know, the story of every immigrant kid, right? They're always trying to find community. They're trying to find ways to fit in. And to me, hip hop gave me that. I grew up in Los Angeles, California, and my neighborhood was very, very mixed. I remember, you know, being able to find that common ground with the rest of the kids in my neighborhood because we had such a strong love for hip hop culture. It was really hard, especially moving around and moving to New York when I was really young, uh, trying to find other people that were Guatemalan. Like everyone assumed I was Colombian or assumed I was Puerto Rican. I used to push aside, like, you know, my immigrant self and my immigrant, you know, like uh, my parents and I was slightly ashamed of it at, at growing up because because I felt like I wasn't celebrated or I wasn't accepted. My father thought it was really important for us to go visit because it was important to know where we came from. And he was always very, very proud of, of understanding our roots and, and you should know where your family from, your lineage. Getting there, I, I understood. I had never seen greens that green before, blues that blues, or these beautiful exotic like birds that, things that you only see in like National Geographic or like in magazines and stuff. It was the first time that I had some kind of like clarity in my life and understood, you know, all my parents' sacrifices and, and to leave their country of, of, you know, where they have a lot of pride and, and a lot of joy, obviously to find a better life, right? And I know they sacrificed it to give me and my sisters a better life me running away from it was just me being a kid, like me trying to fit in. Now I embrace who I am. I, I celebrate, you know, my background. I'm happy that I am in a place where I have been um, successful in my career and it just makes me happy, you know, to be able to be like, yeah, me too. I've been working on a, a festival, a Young Women's Empowerment Expo called Envision Fest, right? And the reason I'm behind this is because I wanted to create something for young women of color and women from all walks of life to feel um, connected. I wanted to build community and education and, 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 and music. And it definitely had a lot of uh, Guatemalan young girls that come, that came from Philly, that came from Jersey, attend and, and come up to me and be like, hey, you know, I'm Guatemalan too. And just, I just want to let you know that I'm very proud of everything that you're doing and being at the place that I am in my career, that I'm able to build that type of community, I think it's pretty special. And just the fact that I can connect with other young women or young men too, you know what I mean, to find like that identity, I think I'm prouder than I've ever been. My parents are the definition of never stop, never settle, right? Because, because of their sacrifices is the reason that I'm here. Right, um, my parents live in a one-bedroom apartment, cramped up, until we figured out how to move to the next one. You know, I know what it feels like to be like, okay, this is what we got to eat tonight. That this is it. You know, like I know what it is to to um, you know to sacrifice because my parents did it, and I watched them. But no matter what the circumstances were, my parents were very, very proud, and they were very hard workers, and you know they juggled two, three jobs at a time, and just to make ends meet, to provide us the opportunity to have education, to have a different experience. So because of you know um, them and their hard work and the fact that they never settled, they were so, so persistent. And they always said, we're doing it for you, for our kids, you know? So to me, my parents are the definition of never stop, never settle, and they've embedded that in me. So to me, no matter how many times people tell me no, like, there'll be somebody who says yes, and I'll figure it out.